On September 22nd, I asked my friends and family, do you love yourself? The answers were largely no. It broke my heart a little. I, um, and it caused me to reflect on my own journey of self-discovery that had been put in motion only a few months prior. You see, on the last day of July, my career took this unexpected turn. It was, it was such a punch in the gut. It caused me to question my future, my identity. So I set on, a, on this, this little quest. I was going to figure out who am I, why am I here, and what is my purpose. One thing I knew for sure, I was not ready to be put out to pasture. So I immersed myself in self-improvement resources, and, and one of the things that kept coming up is this, this concept of self-love. Highly effective and highly fulfilled people possess healthy levels of self-love. It struck me that throughout my career, I never, I never took the time to nurture a healthy relationship with myself. I was a busy executive. One thing I, um, I, I just, I kept, I kept digging. And it, do we, we didn't talk about self-love in corporate America, right? We just didn't talk about it. But one thing that I knew for sure is that in order for me to succeed in my second chapter, I felt like self-love was the key to unlocking this fulfillment and success. So I kept digging in, and I just, it was, it was, it was hard for me. It wasn't in our vocabulary, and, and I realized this, this armor that had built up over the years, initially designed to keep me safe and keep me strong, was, was, it was, it was a barrier now. It was a barrier to my growth and a barrier. A, it was just keeping me small. Time for a radical decision. Here, hold my armor. With renewed vigor, I, I reached out to my friends and family, and I asked them, do you love yourself? And the responses were, were mixed. Some, like my friend Anne, who is one of my more successful friends, of course I love myself. Oh, yes, I do. But most of the other responses were, were fairly negative. Nah, not so much. No, I really don't. Uh, that's not any of your business. I, I'm getting better as I get older. And then I had this conversation with my niece, and it just it had such a lasting impact on me. I reached out to her, do you love yourself? And she came back and she said, meh, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm getting kinder to myself. And then she said, society makes too much money off self-hate. Jeez, are you kidding me? I never even thought about that, right? Billions of dollars a year is on bottles and Botox and pills and potions and creams and conditioners. I never thought about it. But as I, as I look back on the responses from my friends and my family, they were, it was society's influence. Self-love is selfish and narcissistic. It's just a, it's a false belief perpetuated by outside influences. And then this happened. My niece turns my question back on me. What about you, Aunt Julie? Do you love yourself? No. I don't. And she came back. Oh, Aunt Julie, I love you. Filled with unconditional love. And... I had just fallen victim to all these beliefs like everyone else. And in that moment, I had, to, I had to make a decision. I didn't want to keep telling my friends and family that how they felt about me was different than how I felt about myself. That's not right. It was so uncomfortable. So I, I chose 
I chose to borrow. Just for, I just wanted to try it on, right? And, and feel the love that others had for me. And so I borrowed it. And it was, it was like this fog out of my head, right? And, and this weight lifted from my shoulders. And it was, it was like this crazy, remarkable stuff is starting to happen, right? So I'm, I'm, I, I learned to challenge rejection. And so many people are going to benefit as a result. The old me would have been, oh, you don't deserve it. Don't worry about it. You're not worth it. I, uh, I, there's speakers out here, right? And I, I don't cringe when I watch myself on video anymore. And I know you guys know that's a, that's a huge deal. I, um, I'm here right now on this stage talking to all of you about self-love. And, and Monday, I got a new job, and I start next Monday. Ooh, go me. The puzzle pieces are all fitting together. I'm so psyched. So, do you love yourselves? If you, if you do, man, spread that stuff around like falling leaves on an autumn breeze. We need it. We need it. And if you don't, please, lighten your loads. Borrow some of the love that others have for you just for, just for 24 hours. Try it on. It's, I, I can promise you it's, it's life-changing. You're going to be a better parent, a better leader, a better human. And if you don't, if you're, if you're uncomfortable borrowing that love from your friends and family, I'd like, to, I'd like to offer you some of mine. Go ahead. Take it to heart. The world is waiting for you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.